Hello, 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 you guys. Um, forgive me if I look rough. I just woke up. Um, so I just wanted to come on and give a quick word, quick testimony of what happened to me on yesterday um, while I was at work. So um, quick back end of the story. Uh, about three years ago, God had someone to speak into my life about me not um, working for anyone about me not working on a job or anything of that nature because he didn't create me to work for anyone he created me to have my own so um, that was 2018 2019 I ended up um, losing um, my job um, I had not worked since 2019 so all 2019 2020 I did not work because I was um, um, in a place God was revamping me God was doing some things in my life and I didn't understand at the time what he was doing but you know in the, in the those two years God was showing me that all I needed was him and to um, lean and depend on him as my provider as my source of um, provisions so that's the back end of the story so um, I started praying for God to just um, give me a work at home job because I started homeschooling my kids and things of that nature. And so in January, I started working this temporary job. And then in March, I started working a home, work from home job. When I tell you I was literally miserable the whole time I was working this job. Now, the job wasn't a bad job. It was a good job. You know, um, I loved it. You know, it was Monday through Friday weekends off. But, you know, if you all don't know, I'm currently... Um, pregnant right now um i am going on eight months pregnant so it was just a lot it was just a lot you know it took away from it was a, a distraction from god and what he had called me to do and god also reminded me in the time while i was working this job that it was not meant for me to be on this job you know he reminded me he said didn't i call you to not work for anyone else to have your own to start your own business and in that time you know god had sent like many other different people to me when i wasn't working to remind me that he wanted me to start my business that was something that he wanted me strictly to work on and serving him and living out my purpose and doing his divine will so this whole entire time that i've been working for the past six months i've been totally completely miserable um i didn't like it i i just kept praying and um seeking the lord and telling the lord just to take it back because i it was something that i didn't want anymore take it back you know um i miss spending my time with the lord serving the lord serving his people being there for his people and doing what he called me to do what i love to do and so long story short so yesterday you know i was just completely tired i was at the my breaking point to the point to where i was like okay i'm literally about to quit this job and so I kept praying. I woke up, um, my shift was 7 to 3.30, so I get up about 6.30 in the morning. So from that moment, I just pray and I command my day. Um, and I worship during the day, spend time with the Lord before I clock in. And so as I was sitting there and I was um, contemplating on quitting, you know, I was just praying and I was seeking the Lord. And so I had asked him, you know, I said this prayer, you know, I asked God to give me a sign on what he wanted me to do about the job and to send me a message you know or show me a sign a symbol and um he still provide my needs so that was about nine o'clock so 9 16 i went back and i prayed again and i said you know better yet lord if it's meant for me to quit this job let the system crash as a sign that is time in jesus name this is no lie no lie 9 25 a.m the system started messing up 9 36 a.m the system completely crashed not just on my side but the company wide no one was able to access the system or get into the system it completely crashed so i i'm here to tell you that god will give you things to see that it's not what you need you know it was something that you wanted but it was not what you needed you know so we have to know that when god calls us to do something or where god answers us or he tells us that it's something that he desires for us to do we just have to trust him believe and have faith and put in the work and the effort to do it and to move on that and know that god will continue to provide and meet our needs every step of the way 
I, it blew my mind, literally blew my mind because I was not expecting God to move that fast. You know, I was not expecting him to answer me. And this is not the first time that God has answered me. You know, when I pray instantly, simultaneously that God will answer me, you know, sometimes God will not answer us because it takes time and effort, you know, for certain things in our lives, for God to come to, uh, for things to come to pass, for God to put it together, you know, the way he intends for it to be because he wants the best of the best for us. So so I'm here to tell you that whatever you've been praying, whatever you've been seeking God for, believing God for, just keep continuously trusting, believing, and having faith that God will come through for you because he is the God of impossibilities. He, all things are possible in God. There's nothing too hard for God. There's nothing that God cannot do. Ooh, I'm getting emotional. There's nothing that God cannot and will not do for you. It's in his timing, on his time, when he wants to do it how he desires to do it trust him trust and know and stand on his word that he is a man that he shall not lie and his promises are yes and amen and he is faithful to his word he will not go back on his word because god is not a liar and if god does not come through or goes back on his word that makes him a liar and that's something that he is not in that that is he there's something that's not in him so trust god and know that he is faithful enough to do whatever it is that you desire whatever it is that you want as long as it lines up with his will and plans for your life it will come to pass there's a scripture in job that says that god will tell or do something for a man two or three times so if there's confirmation and if god has said it two or three times know that it's from him because he will he will continuously um send um word or send a message or confirmation so that you know that it's from him i woke up this morning and god was he confirmed his word that i had did the right thing you know um the daily scripture was matthew 6 25 and um this is the um tpt version this is why i tell you never be worried about your life for all that you need will be provided such as food water clothing everything your body needs isn't there more to life than a meal isn't your body more than clothing so god was reminding me i'm i'm your provision i'm going to give you everything there's nothing that you need to worry about leaving this job you don't have to worry about that your knees beating me, me met me supplying all of your needs like i've been doing you know so it wasn't that i didn't trust god to continue to do that you know um i just i don't know for some odd reason i just wanted to maybe because you know god had just blessed me with a car and so i wanted to make sure that you know i was able to um have the means to um pay for that car but God said his word says that he owns a thousand cattle on the hill and if God created everything and he owns the thousand cattle on the hill doesn't he own the hill too so if he owns everything a thousand cattle on the hill couldn't he not provide for you he says that I will provide all of your needs according to your riches and according to um my riches and glory by Christ Jesus so know that there's nothing that God will not supply for you keep trusting him stand on his word you know and some like i said some things take time some god you can't force his hand he's gonna move when he desires to move in his timing and um there was a quote that he gave me in the last word that says you know we may not like the answers that god gives us but we will be blessed by the results so you may not like the answers to the prayers but then you will be blessed by the results you know, sometimes God, he waits on us to move. He doesn't move until we move. You know, he gives us an answer and then he waits on us to move. You know, um, that word he got, gave me, listen, follow, respond, and obey. So that's what God means. You know, we have to listen for his answers. We have to follow his instructions. We have to respond to them. And once we respond and obey him, God moves because it's obedience that moves God. Nothing else moves God but our, our obedience. And the more we're obedient to God, the more that God is able to trust us with doing his will, with the blessings that he gives us, with the favor, the increase, the overflow. So you guys, please, please. I mean, I'm still in awe. I'm still in awe. You know, that, you know, I simply prayed for my system to crash, my computer to crash. I wasn't expecting God to shut the whole company down, the whole system down. 
you know so i just wanted to come on and encourage you with this word and to continue to stand stand in faith stand in faith stand on the word of god and his promises because he's coming through this is the season of restoration this is the season of abundance this is your harvest season and everything that you have planted is coming to pass you are harvesting that in this season so stand on his word just trust him it's coming so god bless you all i love you all you know um you all stay safe and see you next time